Hello fellow compounders, welcome back. In today's video, we'll discuss how to build a core satellite portfolio with $500 per month, incorporating a coffee can twist. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding on how to harness the power of a diversified investment strategy to maximize your returns over the long run. So let's get started. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor and you are responsible for your own financial decisions. What's a core satellite portfolio? A core satellite portfolio, or what we've called a hybrid portfolio in previous videos, is an investment strategy that combines a core holding, which is typically a low cost diversified index mutual fund or ETF, with a satellite holding, which is often a high risk, higher reward investment that complements the core. The core holding provides a broad market exposure and diversification across different asset classes while the satellite holdings allow you to potentially achieve higher returns through investments in specific sectors or individual stocks. So why should you consider a core satellite approach for your investment strategy? Well, first of all, it allows you to benefit from both diversification and the potential of higher returns. By holding a diversified core portfolio and complementary satellite investments, you can potentially reduce risk and increase returns over the long run. Secondly, it provides flexibility and customization in your investment strategy. You can adjust the allocation between core and satellite holdings based on your individual financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. So, how can you build a core satellite portfolio with $500 a month? Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Step one, determine your investment goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. This will help you choose the right core and satellite holdings for your portfolio. Step two, Choose your core holding. This should be a low-cost diversified investment fund or ETF. Popular options include Vanguard's Total Stock Market ETF, symbol BTI, or the iShares Core S&P 500 ETF, symbol IVV. Step three, select your satellite holdings. Once you have a clear investment plan, it's time to choose your satellite holdings. Look for stocks or funds that align with your investment goals and provide exposure to the sectors or markets you're interested in. For example, if you're interested in technology stocks, consider the technology sector spider fund, symbol XLK, or the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF, symbol ICLN, as a potential satellite holding. Step four, set up automatic investments. To make investing easy and consistent, set up automatic investments of $500 per month into your core and satellite holdings. This will help you stay disciplined and avoid emotional investing decisions. The setup of automatic investing feeds into another key aspect of building a successful investment portfolio, which is using the strategy of dollar cost averaging and the use of fractional shares. Dollar cost averaging involves investing a fixed amount of money into your portfolio at regular intervals such as monthly or quarterly. In our case, it's $500 a month. This can help reduce the impact of short-term market fluctuations on your investment returns, potentially increasing your returns over the long run. In addition, the use of fractional shares can help you fully invest your money, even if you don't have enough to buy full shares of individual stocks or ETFs. Many brokerage firms now offer fractional shares, firms like Schwab, Fidelity, or Robinhood. This allows you to invest in a diversified portfolio even with limited funds. Now, let's add a coffee can twist to our core satellite portfolio. The coffee can approach is a long-term investment strategy that involves holding on to high quality stocks for an extended period of time, often 10 years or more. The idea is to invest in a company with a strong track record and growth potential, and then hold on to the stock for the long-term, ignoring short-term market fluctuations. The coffee can approach is based on the idea that some companies are high quality and have the potential to generate long-term returns and become 10 baggers or 100 baggers, regardless of the short-term market volatility. By holding on to these stocks for the long-term, investors can reduce risk and increase their returns over time. I've done a video about coffee can investing, which you can find in this link. Let's take a look at an example portfolio allocation using the core satellite approach with a coffee can twist. Our core holdings, or 70% of the portfolio, will consist of Vanguard's total stock market ETF, symbol VTI, with a 40% allocation, Vanguard's international total stock market ETF, VXUS, with a 20% allocation, 
and iShares Core U.S. Aggregated Bond Fund ETF with a 10% allocation. Our satellite holdings will be 30%, and we'll use Invesco's QQQ ETF, symbol QQQ, with a 10% allocation, and iShares Clean Energy ETF, symbol ICLN, with another 10%. And then we'll add Starbucks Corporation, uh, we can't miss our coffee, with a 5% allocation, symbol SBUX, and Microsoft, Mr. Soft, with ticker symbol MSFT, with a 5% allocation. This allocation provides a diversified mix of core and satellite holdings, and the coffee can approach allows investors to hold on to quality stocks for the long term, potentially reducing risk and increasing returns over time. By the way, one important aspect of managing a core satellite approach is regularly rebalancing your holdings. Rebalancing involves adjusting your portfolio back to your target allocation by buying or selling assets as needed. This can help ensure that your portfolio continues to align to your investment goals and risk tolerance over time. Rebalancing also provides opportunities to take advantage of market movements and potentially increase your returns over the long run. Another important consideration when building a core satellite portfolio is taxes. Depending on the type of account you're using, such as a taxable brokerage account or a tax advantage account like an IRA or 401k, different tax implications may apply. It's important to carefully consider the tax implications of your investment decisions and consult a tax professional if needed. Finally, one of the most important aspects of building a core satellite portfolio is staying the course. Investing can be emotional, specifically during times of market volatility or uncertainty. However, it's important to remember your long-term investment goals and stay disciplined in your investment strategy. By building a well-diversified portfolio and holding on to quality stocks for the long run, you can potentially achieve financial success over time. Remember, investing is a journey, and there are many different strategies to consider. Whether you choose a core satellite approach, coffee can investing, or a combination of both, the key is to stay disciplined and focus on your long-term goals. By using a core strategy approach with a coffee can twist, you will likely benefit from the power of diversification while also holding on to high quality stocks over the long term. This should reduce your risk and potentially increase your returns over time. Remember, always be compounding. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. So long.